Jungle Explorer here, and what you see right there are just millions and millions of ghost minnows. And I'm going to be netting some of those with this nice net right here. Um, and we're going to use them for fish bait. And I'm going to actually do a little cooking show for you. Show you how to cook them. Then in many cultures around the world, sardines and minnows are a primary source of pro protein. And uh, I've learned how to eat them. When I lived down in Guatemala, um, uh, some of the rivers had been fished out and all there was was little minnows. So we're going to be doing a little cooking show later. Show you how to do that. But let's go ahead and catch some of these suckers. Okay, so just going to put the net in and walk down the shore. Got to go fast enough and I'm just catching them by the hundreds as I go. There we go. Looky there. One net full, probably two pounds of. Okay. These things are called inland silver sides or minnows. I call them ghost minnows. Some people call them glass minnows, but their technical name is inland silver sides. Very few people know that you can eat them. They are excellent bait, and uh, but you can actually eat them. So let me catch a whole bunch more, and we'll show you how to do it. Uh, so we got right here is we've got two different seasoning batters mixed up for the fish that we're going to deep fry here in just a second. So right here we've got um, we've got one batter that's mixed up with our lab seasoning, which is a special type of Thai seasoning. Uh, it's kind of spicy, tangy, salty. Uh, I've got that mixed up, and then I've also got right here just some regular cassava flour with salt and black pepper now I've used it in other things and it makes like incredible batter for um, chicken nuggets and things like that kinda if you are somebody who has a gluten allergy or knows somebody that has a gluten allergy or gluten sensitivity cassava flour is a really good alternative so we're gonna be using that today but really you can do this with any flour if you don't have those issues then just use regular old enriched wheat flour white flour whatever you want to get your hands on um, but generally white flour is what they use for battering fish so this is what we're going to start with and what we're going to be using these two batters right here here we're just battering the fish and I'm not I'm not putting them in a wet batter and then putting them in the dry batter I'm just dry battering these guys it's a little bit too much work for such tiny fish to have to go through an egg wash for a uh, for these little guys so we're just doing the dry batter right now putting them in here lightly tossing and see they get coated and then you're just going to deep fry them so i'm going to take these guys i'm going to put them in the uh 
fry basket first. Shake the excess off, put them in the fry basket. And you can hear that batter sizzling as it falls down through the fry basket. That's good, that's a sizzle, that's how you know your oil is hot enough to start frying. All right, let's drop these guys in and see how they fry. Oh, look at that, beautiful. Look at the sizzle on that. So what we're looking for here is a nice golden brown color. Right now they're still, they're still kind of white, so we're gonna cook them a little bit longer. So here we have some fried. Uh, they're good just like they are. Mmm, just delicious. And you don't, you know, you're worried about bones. You don't have to worry. They're fried crispy. You can just eat the whole thing. Mmm. Get a little sriracha sauce right here. Try it with some sriracha. Wow. Mmm, that is so good. Man. I'm going to eat a bunch of these. They're better than french fries. Little bites of protein. Mmm. Get it with ketchup. That is so good. That sriracha sauce is awesome. Well, who knew you could eat these little fish? You know, you've probably been passing them up all these years. Using them for bait. But here's the thing, guys. The survival is about taking advantage of what's easiest and what's available. And, you know, if you can't catch the big fish you want, and you got millions of these, you're missing out on some delicacy here. This is pretty good stuff. You know, and right there, um, I've caught probably about, well, about 20 pounds of them. I've stored some up for bait later on in the wintertime when you can't get them. But I may eat them all up before then, because these things are really amazing, man. Hope you give it a try. Well... If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Until next time, this is the Jungle Explorer, signing out.